Well, we're really excited to be hosting a retrospective of a work by Janet Walker. You can see some of the work behind me here. And it's a watercolour collection that spans about 35 years of her, of her work. Um, the theme that we're actually focusing on is various aspects of each district in all three of the Cayman Islands. So we have uh, Little Cayman, Cayman Brac, and uh, cottages from all over Grand Cayman. Uh, lots of heritage architecture, much of which unfortunately is no longer with us. So it's a beautiful overview of past and present Cayman. Well, we're opening the exhibition, of course, with our members preview this evening, which is being hosted by Caledonian. Caledonian are sponsoring the event, and of course they have a big connection to the Walker family. And we've actually borrowed a lot of their artwork, so I think they have quite a big space in their office right now. Uh, the exhibition has been co-curated by myself and David Bridgman, and we have a great education team that are putting together a really exciting package for school children. The whole exhibition is very sort of a very quiet and reflective one. It captures a time in Cayman where there was less traffic on the road. Um, even when I arrived here in 1987, I, I, I thought it was quite a busy place then, but compared to how it is now, it's, it's very quiet. And that's, and that's captured uh, beautifully by Janet in the watercolours, particularly in, in the outlying districts. It's a, it is it's a beautiful snapshot, really, from, from 20, 30 years or, or more. Oh, always I paint outside and I, I sit on the side of the road or in people's yards or um, um, you know, just go and find somewhere nice and cool and then look around and see what, what I can paint after that. Um, I love painting the old houses and I love the seascapes so if there's a nice breeze blowing I go and sit on the edge of the sea. There's always something to paint. There are coconut trees, there are boats, there are people coming by. Oh, I have worked in watercolor but I found that because I wanted to work outside, I, I found that the watercolor was an awful lot easier to handle. You could take, you know, just your water and your paints and a pad of paper, and you could go anywhere on an easel, whereas paint, uh, oils were a little trickier to handle. So I, I, like the, um, I like the process of painting outside because you get the real feeling of your subject. You know, if the wind's blowing, you, you paint um, the trees blowing, and, and you can't duplicate that in the student. 2010 marks the uh, 40th anniversary for the Caledonian organization and we saw it fitting that we would um, you know, partner with the National Gallery in support of Janet Walker's exhibition. Um, she's a beloved member of our, our organization um, and we are, are thrilled that we could be uh, a part of this. I really urge everyone to come out and, and partake in, in, um, in this exhibition. It does run through the end of November so if you haven't um, heard about it yet, please come out and, and enjoy. Everyone's familiar with watercolours. You know, Janet actually has prints all over the Cayman Islands. You can't really go into a, a bank or a restaurant without seeing some of these prints. But of course, when you see the original watercolours and they're lit um, as we've lit them in the gallery, sort of a spotlight on just the image, the colours just really jump out at you and, you know, it's a totally different experience. There's a wonderful piece um, which you'll be showing uh, called Bulldozing Mangroves and it's a very sort of dark piece. It's not part of the actual exhibition but it is something we're going to bring out for the school children and again that just raises those questions about making sure that we, we find a balance and you know maintain the environment while moving forward at the same time. I think what's going to be particularly exciting for viewers coming in to see Janet's work it's firstly this 30-year um, period, you know, we're starting off in the late 70s, early 80s, going all the way through to 2010, and of course the island has changed quite considerably in that time, as has Janet's style of work. Uh, but also, you know, because it's focusing on all the different districts of the three Cayman Islands, there's a lot of scenes that we all know and love, a lot of cottages, a lot of the larger iconic buildings like Pedro's Castle, the lighthouse at Breakers, and just general beach scenes. So, Anyone from the Cayman Islands will be able to come in and recognize places that mean a lot to them and I think that's a pretty special part of this exhibition.